work uh, to present our proposed model. Uh, we called it a uh, switching force field model uh, as a kind of uh, polarizable model. Uh, the aim of this work is a calculation of uh, effective free energy for translocation of drug. Uh, here in this figure, you can see the black drug, uh, the translocation of drug from the body environment to the membrane uh, to obtain the barrier of that. Uh, and the aim of uh, this work is to consider effect of and the role of environment uh, on a drug, uh, like partial charges uh, for this drug, uh, then uh, to consider uh, quantum uh, nature of drug. Then uh, the main question of this uh, work is, so for, for this model, uh, which, uh, which kind of partial charges we need? Vacuum uh, as a uh, dielectric constant of one, like a uh, current force field, uh, oil uh, with dielectric constant of two uh, as a membrane uh, environment, or a T, uh, the environment of the water. Uh, and also, how can we do that when, and we obtain it? Uh, for the uh, next, uh, first uh, question, uh, it's the answer of that. Uh, and uh, I want to show you this paclitaxel, it's anti-cancer drug. And uh, here is the difference of partial charges with dielectric cancer of 2 and AT. And you can see that the difference between these partial charges when we're moving from 2 to AT, uh, with, uh, uh, and when we use uh, quantum calculation like DFT, uh, to obtain it, and it's very important to consider it. So, More, sorry, could, could you hide in the in this window you have? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I should again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Then uh, the motivation of uh, this work is because of in with trying with our data discrepancy for administration of drug. And uh, the important role of in silica studies to understand the details of interaction between uh, drug and surrounding, like uh, MD simulation, MC or QM, to understand details of interaction between them. Uh, for example, the membrane of cell uh, for the better modification of drug. And then to become effective, polarizable model have been developed. Uh, and they are based on the uh, induction of dipole moment like Drut model or FlexQ model, but there are compli uh, complicated methods. And also, to the best of my knowledge, so far, there is uh, one direct study related to translocation of chloroform uh, from the membrane. And uh, they uh, did uh, this simulation uh, with different force fields from Martini to Drut, and they got different profile of free energy that the Drut one is more close to experimental results. But uh, what's the challenges also here? Uh, it's based on fixed cycle moment, and it changed just based on induction of th that uh, in the presence of the um, electric uh, field. And also, as all of you know, the importance of electrostatic interactions like fundamental for the biosystem, and we should consider this type of interaction for our simulation at the most basic level. So to address these challenges, we propose our model. Uh, okay, it, we call it switching force field, and, and now I'm gonna explain more about the details of that. Uh, here we have the drug. And it uh, parameterized uh, the partial charges of that with dielectric constant of AT. It's come from the DFT calculation. Also, we have drug uh, in the membrane with the dielectric constant of two and with this type of partial charges. And when we, uh, we want to study the translocation of drug uh, from one environment to other one, uh, like here. Uh, Najla, I had a question for you. Uh, yeah, is, of course. Is, uh, why is the dielectric constant two? Is it, is there a justification for it, or is this does this come from some uh, experiment or from some some simulations, or is it assumed to be two? Yeah, because uh, we know that the the membrane upset its oily environment, and the dielectric constant of that it's uh, the approximation is two. And uh, when we want to consider the partial charge of drug 
okay, mm -hmm. uh, for for the force field, we should consider uh, this this environment when when we do this uh, the DFT calculation. Yeah, and uh, this this I this I, I understand you need to do it. Yeah, what I'm, asking, yeah. what I'm asking is why 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 yeah. isn't why isn't it five or ten instead? Yeah, because it's uh, because of uh, it's like uh, close to experimental condition. So okay, and, so you have a justification for it. Fine, that's it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, for translocation of that from this name, for example, from water or from membrane to water. Uh, they uh, we can do that with umbrella sampling, pooling, jars, inski, whatever. Uh, and uh, then, uh, if also we consider the drugs with uh, other partial charges of another uh, environment, like here, we have a difference between uh, the uh, free energies. And now, and also here, and it's like uh, it's thermodynamic cycle. And using this thermodynamic cycle, uh, how can we obtain uh, our effective profile free energy, profile of free energy? Then we should consider the drug with uh, a decent state of water, and gradually we should uh, switch to the environment of the uh, membrane with the other partial charges. So what we need now, uh, coupling parameter. Uh, as a function of dielectric constant of environment. Uh, the best one here is the water density. And uh, using that, and also because of the uh, probability density, it's uh, like for the effective one is uh, like a linear combination between the state of drug uh, with partial charges uh, of AT uh, into water and, uh, and that one to the uh, membrane. Then, based on that, it leads to uh, obtain effective free energy. Uh, it's the Boltzmann average of these two states. Uh, then, now I'm going to uh, explain details of how we can use it uh, for our model. Uh, here, it's, uh, the drug is the paclitaxel that I mentioned it before, and uh, the model of membrane is DLPC. Uh, uh, here, it's uh, the partial charges of atom of paclitaxel uh, from the DFT calculation. Uh, and uh, it's, yeah, it's the uh, vertical and horizontal axis of that. It's based on charges. And uh, we obtain it. And uh, we now we have two force fields for that. Uh, we, that's why I had a technical. So the, could you go yeah, back yeah. to the previous slide? So that's this, fine. Yeah, th this this you get from a uh, 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 zero Kelvin optimization. It's the yeah. Uh, first of all, I, I did uh, the DFT calculation uh -huh. between P uh, and uh, I obtain yeah uh, optimization uh, structure. Okay, uh, and then those charges are obtained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and also I, I use uh, this uh, optimized structure for my MD simulation. Uh, the structure is optimized based on uh, DFT calculation, all of them, to be sure about the uh, accuracy of all of the results. Because now it's modern and we, we need to be sure about all of them. But, but then in the MD, the, the, the drug changes its conformation, right? Yes, yes. Okay. But it's just first, first, uh, yeah, uh, first uh, structure of that to start. Okay, I understand. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then uh, it's um, yeah, it's uh, first of all we can uh, we obtain uh, it's a free energy, uh, the barrier of free energy, uh, uh, respect to distance from mid plane for the uh, translocation of paclitaxel through water to mid plane of membrane. Here is the mid plane of membrane, and uh, first we did it with with these partial charges. And then uh, with the partial charges of the uh, dielectric constant of two, then we need off offset uh, for them based on thermodynamic cycle that uh, I explain it. Uh, then uh, with thermodynamic integration here uh, into um, uh, pure water, uh, uh, we, uh, we got uh, the, the difference between uh, these two states. Then uh, we shift, we can shift it. And now to use the model, uh, we need water density 
and gradually we can switch uh, from this state to other one to consider the changing partial charges based on the environment. And the important point that I should mention here, the difference of this, uh, uh, this uh, lines uh, and translocation free energies uh, in the mid uh, plane, uh, it's, uh, we can obtain it here also to compare it uh, with the uh, thermodynamic integration of the drug in the mid plane of membrane. Uh, to be sure, just to be sure about accuracy of translocation of free energies. It's uh, like proof for, for this uh, for this simulation. Uh, and uh, here uh, we got it, the error of that is less than 1%. Then after that, uh, we do, and we did uh, this simulation for, for the different uh, common anti-cancer drugs. Uh, uh, Pacitexa PK and doxorubicin and different, uh, with different structure, molecular weights, and also uh, polar groups, and also uh, for the uh, different uh, membrane, uh, DLPC, DPPC, and POPC, with different bending rigidity. Uh, and the important message of this work here, this figure, uh, we obtain uh, switching uh, uh, the profile of uh, free energy based on our model, the black one, and also uh, the orange one is uh, based on the uh, normal force field, charm M, uh, 36, uh, to, and to uh, yeah, uh, ju just as a control. Now you can see here the difference uh, in between, just difference magnitude, also sign of them, but it's really up to the uh, structure of the uh, drugs and the combination of the drug and uh, uh, type of lipid interaction. I think someone wants to ask me, no? Okay. Then the important message of, okay. uh, yeah. Two, two, minutes, two minutes, please. Two minutes, okay. Uh, and now it's an important message of this work here, uh, and it really can affect any uh, modification of uh, these drugs uh, to better modification of them, specifically for the chemoresistant state cancer cells, uh, and also for uh, lipid membrane therapy. Uh, we need to understand the details of interaction. We should uh, use partial charges and switching barrier and uh, for, for this kind of simulation and for this kind of study. Uh, as a summary, I wanna again uh, uh, explain about the protocol of this model. Uh, we need to obtain a partial charges from QIM calculation. It's very important step uh, to use, uh, it's really the, the final result and accuracy of them is really up to this, this step. It's very important. And uh, after that, by consideration, also the dielectric constant for them. And also it's the, another point of that. And uh, then uh, we need to obtain uh, translocation free energy, uh, like umbrella sampling for equilibrium condition or like Jarzinski for non-equilibrium condition, but uh, we should do that uh, with two different force fields. Then uh, after that, we need the uh, offset between this uh, translocation and thermodynamic integration definitely can help us. Uh, for one side, we can obtain it and for another or for other side, I mean, uh, for the water, pure water, or the mid plane of membrane. Uh, but um, for the pure water, it, it's it's uh, very easy because of the sampling of that. It's uh, it's not really expensive like the mid plane of membrane. And then we need to test it to be sure about the all steps because now we have thermodynamic cycle. It's like exact. Uh, and then uh, to just to compare it. And after that we can obtain effective uh, free energy profile. That's uh, at all about that. Then, grazie per l'attenzione and 
thank you thank you for your attention now i'm ready for all of your question and also um, i like to say that uh, i would be glad if someone interested in this model to it is my email to have a deep talk and also if uh, someone want to get me any comments uh, i, I, I okay. think yeah okay thank you very much for your talk we have two questions i would ask you to be fast so mariam first yeah yeah go ahead hello hi can you hear hello. me hello. yeah uh, thanks for the nice talk, Najla. Um, I wanted to ask you, now that you applied this new method, uh, your results, how, did you compare your results with the experimental values? Like now, the results you obtain, are they similar? Like if you have Taxel, and now your application of the changing force will switching force will, then the yeah. binding energy that you obtain is closer to the experiment, or it doesn't show a change, or it's more different. Is there any comparison with the experiment with your current results? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Uh, it's uh, it's like model different, and this project is just just a model to, to present a model of that. But it's ongoing project, and uh, now we are, we are doing it uh, with uh, experiment uh, also stuff to be sure about that. And uh, yeah for my next presentation <laughs> yeah but but now now it's just model and now but but yeah now yeah, there must be some experiments already done right like regardless of what force field they are, you know. they are uh, no because uh, because the current study is based on like in vitro studies mainly not really to track the the translocation of drug from the membrane like uh, to to see like to obtain like electron density of uh, that what happened during this trial location they're like just just in vitro to uh, and like uh, to obtain the cellular uptake of uh, uh, to investigate the cellular uptake of drugs uh, but uh, now we are doing that and yeah okay i'm looking forward to the to your next talk Thanks. thank you thank you Okay, so with this, we, we have to finish. Thank you very much, Nasla, again. Yeah, thank you.